Hey writers, another episode of Get Them Words In. Uh, today I want to talk to you about dialogue. Um, I've been working on a bunch of scenes, uh, two in particular, that uh, one is almost completely devoid of dialogue and the other one is heavily dialogued uh, because it requires kind of a banter in order to work. Um, they're for different projects, so that's how that's able to work. Um, but um, but yeah, it's, it, you know, playing around with two different kind of ways of talking, two different ways of use of dialogue uh, has really got me thinking. And I've also been reading um, uh, The Hate You Give. And if you haven't read that book, um, you have to read that book. Um, I'm, uh, I'm five chapters in and I'm hooked. Uh, this is amazing. And what's really refreshing about it is how real the dialogue sounds, how it, it's, it really does kind of come off in the mind as like the, these are real people talking in a room. Um, and it's not like a drama being produced that you get to watch like no th this has actually happened this this is people and we're going to watch like a real life story happen uh that's the feeling you get from it because it's just so well written uh and it uh it got me thinking about something i read i wish i could find the card for it but i can't uh and out of all the books um i've checked so far i haven't been able to find the exact quote when i do i'll post about it but um there's a lot of talk in uh, writing circles that, you know, the only dialogue tag you should have, the only thing signifying that some, someone has said something, uh, is the word said. Um, he said, she said, they said, they said, it said, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, and I can't disagree more. Um, I, I know you, um, I know you ignore it. Uh, when you read that it's something that when you're reading and you realize from the first quotation mark that oh someone's talking that by the last quotation mark the next two words of he said or she said um, might as well be the quotation mark you, you just ignore them because you're reading so fast your brain doesn't even register that it says he said she said in fact you know there's been um, there's been kind of like tests done where like they change things to see if people notice and people don't notice because like they'll change from he to she throughout the thing when it's two dudes talking and people don't pick up on the fact that they're talking about a she or that the fact that, you know, it's two dudes because of the she and it's like your brain goes kind of word blind. It goes those kind of things. And that's one of the reasons why I disagree with the practice of only using uh, he said or see he, he, he said or she said or just said as a dialogue tag, even though a lot of famous writers talk about using it as like the default, like only use said as your dialogue tag while you're doing dialogue, um, because it's not the important part. The dialogue's the important part. And I would agree. But uh, there's this one comment, and again, can't find it right now. Uh, I'll probably post it in the comments section of this video when I finally find it, but I got to be able to find it. Um, that uh, there are other parts of dialogue that, um, that aren't part of the same that aren't part of, you know, speech uh, that we can write down and whatnot without having to reference other things. Uh, gestures are dialogue, especially when you talk with your hands, you know, or how you're sitting, how you're standing, how you're, you know, any, any of that kind of stuff. Body language. Body language is part of dialogue. It's entirely different uh, when someone's standing, square-shouldered, fist-cocked, saying, come and get some. Uh, that is an entirely different sentence read in the mind than someone with one foot up on, you know, a, uh, a coffee table with their legs spread saying, come and get some. And, you know, that sounded way dirtier than it needed to be. Um, those are different sentences, right? Like those are different sentences, uh, even though they contain the exact same words. And even if you ended them with the exact same dialogues, why? Because they're gestures. If you mention the gestures and the body positioning differently, uh, or even just at the back end of he said or she said, you know, that, you know, he said with his shoulders back and his arms cocked, that changes the sentence, even though the words didn't change, because the sentence is registered differently through the, you know, head. Um, that's what's important, and uh, that's what I've been noticing, uh, because in The Hate You Give, um, there's stuff like, uh, like tags at the end of quotes where it's noted that this was a lie. You know, and a known lie, which just changes how you read that, where it's not just like, you know, a uh, passage in question was someone reassuring uh, a character about something, and they knew it was a lie, and the character knew it was a lie, but the reader didn't know, so the author made sure that the reader knew that everybody knows it's a lie, and that it completely changes what would have been said if that wasn't there. Um, so as you're writing, as you're uh, working on dialogue, as you're, as you're doing all that kind of stuff, uh, keep that in mind that, you know, there are parts of dialogue, of conversation, of talking to someone 
that often go unmissed and add those in for flavor. Th those are some of the most realistic parts of your, um, your dialogue is going to be the stuff that doesn't get said, but gets mentioned by the author. And you have that power as an author to be able to do that. You get to decide whether or not they say something a certain way or not by how you give us those words. And it's not just the words themselves. The words themselves can do a lot, but you know how they're saying those words, why they're saying those words, the circumstances in which they're saying those words, all those kind of things build into dialogue. And so as you're working with your dialogue, uh, which can be kind of one of the funner parts of writing because you get to have, have your characters interact with each other. As you're doing that kind of stuff, remember that. Don't forget to get your words into. 